Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Good morning, I'm Molly Hendrickson with the latest from Denver 7. We're pushing for more answers after Sigma Pi orders its CU Boulder chapter to shut down. According to our partners at the Denver Post, at least five women came forward claiming they were drugged during parties on University Hill. It's unclear when they were drugged because they attended several parties. RTD will soon start testing trains on the Southeast Rail Extension in Lone Tree. It will add three more stops at Sky Ridge Medical Center, the Lone Tree Center, and at Ridgegate Parkway. The testing will begin the second week of November. The entire project should be finished next year. And Halloween may have just ended, but for Fort Collins, they're already ready for the next round of holidays. Tonight, the city will celebrate its annual downtown holiday light ceremony. Hundreds of thousands of LED lights will stretch for seven blocks along College Avenue in downtown. The event starts at 530. And now let's find out what kind of weather they can expect. Here's Lisa. Yeah, things look pretty good, but they're along the northern front range. The winds will likely be one of the bigger issues those winds like yesterday coming in out of the west northwest uh, we're watching a series of fast moving storms which is why those winds will pick up and die down off and on throughout the weekend we've got a chance for a few showers on the plains tomorrow morning mainly and then more snow for the mountains that's going to start more so tonight and it's going to get heavy in some spots throughout the night saturday in or friday night into early saturday now tomorrow will be a little cooler low 60s today tomorrow we're in the low 50s so about 10 degrees cooler and then so far looks pretty good for the broncos game on Sunday. We'll start to see a little increase in cloud cover with mid 50s by kickoff at 205. All right. Thanks, Lisa. This has been your Denver 7 on demand update. Make sure you check back here later today for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Molly Hendrickson.